Howdy, folks. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a journey down memory lane as we explore the lives and careers of the legendary actors from one of television's most iconic series. Putting on airs, are you? Think maybe you're too good for us, huh? About time you caught another no, lesson, Abby. No, Ben, please! Hold it! Hold it. Gunsmoke. From the dusty streets of Dodge City to the small screen, Gunsmoke captured the hearts of millions, thanks in no small part to its incredible ensemble cast. In this special, then and now, episode, we'll revisit the faces we grew to love and see how time has treated them. From their early days as Dodge City's finest to their remarkable careers beyond the show, these actors left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Get ready for a trip through the Old West and beyond. James Arness. Date of birth. May 26, 1923. Year of death. June 3, 2011. Age at passing. 88. Biography. James R. Ness, born James King R. Ness in Minneapolis, Minnesota, was an American actor best known for his portrayal of Marshall Matt Dillon in the iconic television series, Gunsmoke. Standing at an impressive height of 6 feet 7 inches, R. Ness had a commanding presence that made him a natural fit for the role of the towering lawman. Career. James R. Ness began his acting career in the 1940s and gained recognition for his role in the science fiction classic, The Thing from Another World, 1951. However, it was his role as Marshal Matt Dillon in Gunsmoke that defined his career. He portrayed Dillon for an astounding 20 years, from 1955 to 1975, becoming the embodiment of the character and earning a permanent place in television history. Most successful roles. Marshal Matt Dillon in Gunsmoke, Arness's portrayal of the stoic and principled lawman in Gunsmoke, remains his most iconic and successful role. The series ran for two decades, making it the longest-running primetime live-action series in U.S. television history. Most prestigious awards. While James Arness didn't receive major awards like Emmy or Golden Globe wins during his career, his contribution to the television industry was widely acknowledged and he received honors such as a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Reason for death. James R. Ness passed away on June 3, 2011, at the age of 88. He died of natural causes, peacefully ending a remarkable career that left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Milburn Stone. Date of birth. July 5, 1904. Year of death. June 12, 1980. Age at passing. 75. Biography. Milburn Stone was born in Burton, Kansas, and grew up to become a versatile American actor. He is fondly remembered for his portrayal of Doc Adams in Gunsmoke, a role that showcased his acting prowess. Career. Before Gunsmoke, Milburn Stone had a successful career in both film and television. He appeared in numerous westerns and dramas, gradually establishing himself as a respected character actor. However, it was his role as the gruff yet compassionate Doc Adams that made him a household name. Most successful roles. Doc Adams in, Gunsmoke, Milburn Stone's portrayal of Doc Adams, the dedicated and caring town doctor in Dodge City, was his most successful and enduring role. His performance added depth and heart to the series. Most prestigious awards. While Stone didn't receive major awards during his career, his contribution to the entertainment industry, especially in the Western genre, earned him a place in the hearts of fans and fellow actors. Reason for death. Milburn Stone passed away on June 12, 1980, at the age of 75. He died of a heart attack, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances, particularly his role as Doc Adams in Gunsmoke. Amanda Blake. Date of birth. February 20, 1929. Year of death. August 16, 1989. Age at passing. 60. Biography. Amanda Blake, born Beverly Louise Neal in Buffalo, New York, was an American actress renowned for her portrayal of Miss Kitty Russell in Gunsmoke. She brought elegance and strength to her character as the owner of the Long Branch Saloon in Dodge City. Career. Before Gunsmoke, Amanda Blake had a successful career in films and television. However, her role as Miss Kitty remains the most iconic. 
She was not only a talented actress but also a dedicated animal rights activist. Most successful roles. Miss Kitty Russell in Gunsmoke. Amanda Blake's portrayal of Miss Kitty was her most successful and beloved role. Her character added depth and sophistication to the series, becoming an essential part of the Gunsmoke legacy. Most prestigious awards. Amanda Blake received recognition for her humanitarian work and was honored for her efforts in animal welfare. Her legacy extends beyond her acting career. Reason for death. Amanda Blake passed away on August 16, 1989, at the age of 60. She succumbed to complications of AIDS, shedding light on a disease that was poorly understood at the time. Her legacy lives on through her contributions to entertainment and her advocacy work. Dennis Weaver. Date of birth. June 4, 1924. Year of death. February 24, 2006. Age at passing. 81. Biography. Dennis Weaver, born William Dennis Weaver in Joplin, Missouri, was a versatile American actor known for his distinctive voice and strong presence on screen. His portrayal of Chester Goode in the early seasons of Gunsmoke remains a cherished part of television history. Career. Dennis Weaver's career in Hollywood was marked by versatility. Before Gunsmoke, he appeared in various television shows and films, gaining recognition for his talent. However, it was his role as the loyal but limping deputy Chester Good that catapulted him to stardom and endeared him to viewers. Most successful roles. Chester Good in Gunsmoke. Dennis Weaver's portrayal of Chester, Marshall Dillon's loyal and endearing deputy, was his most successful role. His character's distinctive limp and unwavering dedication made him a fan favorite during the early seasons of the series. Most prestigious awards. Dennis Weaver received accolades for his acting skills, including an Emmy Award for his role in the TV series, McCloud. His contributions to the entertainment industry were celebrated, and he earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Reason for death. Dennis Weaver passed away on February 24, 2006, at the age of 81. He succumbed to complications related to cancer. His legacy lives on through his memorable performances in Gunsmoke and other notable roles. Ken Curtis. Date of birth. July 2, 1916. Year of death. April 28, 1991. Age at passing. 74. Biography. Ken Curtis, born Curtis Wayne Gates in Lamar, Colorado, was an American actor and singer. He is fondly remembered for his role as Festus Hagen in Gunsmoke, where his humorous demeanor and unique character added depth to the series. Career. Before Gunsmoke. Ken Curtis had a diverse career that included singing with the popular Western singing group The Sons of the Pioneers. However, it was his portrayal of Festus Hagen that became his most iconic role, solidifying his place in the Western genre. Most successful roles. Festus Hagen in Gunsmoke, Ken Curtis's portrayal of Festus, the comical but loyal deputy, was his most successful and memorable role. His quirky and humorous character endeared him to fans of the series. Most prestigious awards. Ken Curtis was recognized for his contributions to the entertainment industry but did not receive major awards during his career. His impact on Western television, especially through Gunsmoke, remains his enduring legacy. Reason for death. Ken Curtis passed away on April 28, 1991, at the age of 74. He died of a heart attack, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and memorable moments from his time as Festus Hagen. And there you have it, the remarkable lives and careers of some of the beloved actors from Gunsmoke. From James Arness's towering presence as Marshal Matt Dillon to the endearing humor of characters like Festus Hagen and the authenticity brought by Glenn Strange as Sam Noonan, each actor left an indelible mark on television history. We'd love to hear your thoughts and memories in the comments section below. Share your favorite moments from Gunsmoke, or let us know which actor's story touched you the most. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey, and remember, the Old West may be a thing of the past, but the magic of Gunsmoke lives on through the power of television. Until next time, partners. Stay tuned for more captivating stories from the world of entertainment. Y'all come back now, ya hear?